Oh, good time to start raining. <laughs> Just flew back to the southern suspension and realized that there is, in fact, a lot of things I can uh, do over here. And also, I know I'm on Minecraft, even though I said I probably won't play. I mean, a new update has come out, but I tested it and it wasn't much less laggier. And also, I tested it on my phone, which... Uh, <laughs> literally runs better uh, than my iPad. Like, I had no trouble were going onto my laggy world on my phone rather than my iPad. But that's besides the point. Um, it's fine in this world, I think. it's I've got enough frames to work with <laughs> to not be uh, just absolutely suffering whilst playing. Actually, let me test something. Did they fix this yet? <gasps> they fixed it. Hold on, no, it's just me touching the screen. But no, no, they actually did. They fixed it. They fixed the uh, being able to walk right. <laughs> they literally last update ruined walking right and now it's fixed so well done Mojang for getting your game to work but <laughs> yeah things such as this which literally the last time I was here was like uh, oh, it's in the 99th episode wasn't it it's crazy but I'm already up to 120 episodes <laughs> I mean not really a bit because well you know uh a uh an, epi an episode every single week and we're sort of halfway through the year but did the 100th episode happen like near new year's i'm pretty sure it happened after didn't it yeah i'm pretty sure uh like it was just right after oh no it was like ages actually no it was actually ages after the new <laughs> after the new year but still um been at least uh 20 episodes since i've been in this uh sudden suspension place because i've been working on the uh, museum back rooms over there, which is in the same world, mind you. It's a bit easy to forget that. But, um, yeah, now we're back here, and there's actually a ton of things to do. Like, villager-proof this entire place because all of my villagers are dead because the new update ruined their pathfinding. And now, for some reason, they don't think that these are full blocks. They don't think trapdoors are full blocks, and they just hop on over the edge, and they're gone. So, uh, yeah, my once-thriving town has once again, <laughs> failed. But, I don't know, I'm sort of just, e I'm even just um, considering, like, completely unvillager proofing the whole place and just making this, like, a, a cool town uh, in the future. But I, I want it to be, I want it to feel lived in, and there's nothing better than uh, making it actually lived in to make it feel lived in. Um, and I've also, like, spent a ton of time trying to villager-proof this place already, so it's a bit of a waste if I just... But, like, it's also ruined quite a lot of things, like all my all my ladder ladder houses and uh, all of that stuff. But, eh, whatever. And also, I can... This is just an eyesore. I don't know why this is still here. I think I might just rebuild it once uh, I actually need it. Why is my throat sour? It's sore and sour. Ooh, I don't know what's causing that, but, um... Yeah, this is used to get my villagers the right jobs, because as you can see, there is occupations everywhere, and I don't want them to get some random job that they're not supposed to, um, so I just spawn, spawn a bunch of them in there, <laughs> and uh, in the end, uh, when everything is uh, said and done, I can just destroy the uh, station I want, and then replace it, and then get like the proper villagers to just stay here and uh, work properly. And then everyone in there is doomed, but no, I'm not doing that right now, alright. And that's actually, no, I'm not doing either of those things right now. I'm not villager proofing or making this. I was going to make this, but um, found some, found some better stuff to do, because I'm kind of more excited about this whole place here. Um... I've left this place alone for quite a while now. It's like I don't I don't really know what this place is. It's sort of like the uh um what what would you call this? Like a janitor's room or something. <laughs> like just where where the operations happen, the mechanics room, like a, a steampunk esque room or something. I don't know. But um yeah, this place has stayed untouched for a while now, but I just realized that this is absolutely awful. I mean, this isn't absolutely awful, but, um, yeah, this, this room's a bit stupid, like, <laughs> this is me finding about, uh, finding out about TNT yeeters, but, um, eventually took TNT out, because there is literally live redstone happening right behind it, I didn't want it to, <laughs> to just all go off, um, and, well, that, and the, uh, mini- the mini ender dragon up here that I both just uh, built out of a, uh, yeah, and it was also filled with uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call that right now. Um, so yeah, uh, built those two things just in a whim. 
uh, when I saw them on YouTube, so I thought, you know what, why not add them? But, um, yeah, this is a bit stupid because there isn't, like, a villain there or something. There is no need for you anymore, so I'm going to disassemble this, turn it into a generator of sorts, and make this uh, whole place a bit uh, nicer looking. I mean, I, this whole wall of furnaces was, like, a, a, a cool idea at first. I used a command where they all were lit up, um, but I think an update or something, or just the command wasn't good enough or something, made them just go off, uh, at some point, and, uh, yeah, now they're just a bit of an eyesore, so I'm gonna try to turn this into something, I don't know what this wall could be, though, I'm making the generators here, but I don't really know what, or what the wall is, because, you know, if you have generators, you don't exactly need a whole wall of furnaces for no reason, um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, have a bit of a plan for how they're going to look and stuff, but, no, I mean, first of all, I think we're just going to have to uh, disassemble this. I mean, the TNT might actually, could have actually been uh, helpful right now. I'm not using the respawn anchor to do this, because that would just be absurd. But, um, yeah, so I guess we'll get started by destroying this stuff and get started on talking about what on earth has happened this week. Um, another quite eventful week, not eventful, but, um, just less boring than usual, uh, which is fantastic, I always look forward to, uh, talks on these weeks, because I can actually, um, yeah, go on about some stuff, but, um, yeah, I am playing this right now because of my, uh, my game handicap that I've put myself in again, another impulse <laughs> uninstall of all my games, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if I would call them that anymore. It's just, I get bored, and then I just uninstall it because I waste time on it. Well, I mean, not te technically not bored, because if I was bored of it, uh, that would be good. I'd, I'd be able to leave them installed. But um, no, I get too addicted, and then I played Critical Ops for no good reason for, like, five hours one afternoon, and uh, yeah... <laughs> improved none so yeah uh got rid of it and so i so did pixel gun suffer the same fate because well it's just uh not a very not a very uh interesting game anymore to me uh, like every, it's literally just mo like ad simulator now and like hop on just watch 10 ads oh not even like 50 ads <laughs> we're using like half an hour's time and then hop off that's literally my how i play pixel gun nowadays but uh well how i play pixel gun nowadays is none because i don't play it anymore in your face pixel gun but uh yeah um just being super super like not fun i just decided yeah whatever these games they don't they deserve to be around anymore so off they went um but of course as always that leaves me with my uh my always active um well always installed games which is minecraft and uh what was the other one um i don't know but right now it's egg ink <laughs> egg ink in minecraft well i have no this is like the first time i played minecraft actually um, in a while because like i said in the last video which <laughs> i should probably uh, reference at some point um yeah i've uh not been playing that much minecraft which honestly is 100 percent down to i can't play on my survival world because i lag way too much and it's just not fun when that happens and also i don't really have much to do do i um, Like, I could go about, um, uh, destroying the basement again, and trying to make a nice, nice big hole once again, but, eh, um, also, I am just incredibly busy these days as well, so, I say that I've done nothing, but I'll, yeah, I'll do the weekly, uh, shame, uh, later, but, um, yeah, like, I could totally play that stuff, but it's just, yeah, bit, bit, bit of a time, uh, Eda, and just uses up all the time, and, uh, yeah, not much is accomplished in the end, so, um, I'm just hoping that, uh, I don't get addicted to Minecraft again, I mean, it's, it happens in, sh in a short bursts, I guess, every, uh, every, every time I do, uh, get an addiction, last about a week, well, that's actually a, quite, a, quite a while to prepare, but, um, still, it's better than, uh, playing it non-stop without accomplishing anything, because that's what I do on Sea Ops, and now it's gone, uh, but Minecraft, of course, i got to keep all its data and stuff, so, 
not really quite uh, grown the uh, the courage to destroy this game yet. So, yeah, it lives to see another day. All right, let's just destroy all of this for now because we will rewire all of this later. It's not going to actually, like, it's not redstone that's actually going to work. It's just going to be uh, a bit some some uh cool things to look at so yeah we're gonna be building the generator out of copper because it's one of the only metal metallic looking uh blocks that has stairs stair forms and stuff this uh a bit weathered copper actually it's yeah it's different it's called there's a weathered copper and there's a exposed copper i don't really get how they're naming this stuff but okay whatever all right um yeah because this looks like a nice nice uh, little brown color uh, I'm not going to make it out of mud. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, another thing that I could have done was, um, oh, dear, was uh, rec I wanted to recolor the crane because it's a bit, it's a bit of a crappy color. Like, look at this. What on earth is this granite and dorite and stuff? Just doesn't look like a cool crane. Um, <laughs> I know I already recolored the, uh, the, uh, this arm already, and I'm gonna have to do it again, which is a bit annoying, but I don't know, uh, I'll see if there's a, some, I mean, I only really have the stair variants of blocks to choose from, don't I, because there's nothing else that's, like, that's, uh, well, I have to use stairs and slabs and stuff for this build, so... It's a, it would be a bit awkward if uh, I had to... Oh, no, yeah, this was, um like, stone or, like, something, like, andesite maybe back then. And it didn't stand out at all from the uh, from the background. So that's why I had to change this. But, um yeah, I'm going to have to change it again because it just looks crap. At some point, maybe next video or something. I know I probably should be, like, animating right now or something. But um I, I want to have some fun on Minecraft. I know I did that last... The week before last week, but... um. I don't, I don't care, just, uh, suck it up, buttercup, um, right, yeah, so, make it a generator, I don't exactly know how to, uh, do that, but I, I got some inspiration before I started, so, hopefully I'll be able to get something that looks, uh, a bit like a generator, so, um, yeah, that's really that, um, first topic, first, we're getting, getting into it, um, what actually happened after, after, oh no, I did it on Sunday last time, didn't I? So I went straight to work. It was actually so tiring. Oh no, yeah. Well, on the on like the day after that uh, at work, I actually that was my first day going to work all by myself. Just to go in there to get stuff done and going back home all on my own. I'm I'm a big boy now. I can uh do all this all this uh stuff without needing supervision. So <laughs> yeah, um. It's actually pretty crazy, though, like, going to work and, um, like, not having, <coughs> like, it's kind of funny, not really, um, but, like, basically all the co work all my, all my co-workers, like, well, there's just, like, one of my co-workers is just really busy and he's always out, and, um, one of them ha is just, like, going after a different career path now, so he's, like, gone off to do, like, lessons and stuff, um, and... My mum, which normally comes with, comes with me to work to uh, help out with stuff, she, well, yeah, I didn't go with her that day because there was a bit less things to do, so she didn't, she wasn't there, and at the end, it was just me and my other co-worker that assembles things, and we were just chilling, we were just been chilling in the factory, just doing stuff, and not being able to, like, talk to anyone or anything, it was just a pretty dead day, to be honest, but it's, a uh, sort of good for me, because I, uh, I, oh my god, bad idea to eat before uh, recording, as always, but, um, I got distracted less, because my mum wasn't there, but it was also a lot lonelier, because I didn't have anyone to mess with, <laughs> so, yeah, it was a bit of a depressing day, but, uh, in the end, I got most of the stuff I needed to do, uh, get done, done, and, yeah, overall, um, quite a, quite a day it was, it's quite a day, um, and went home at night, and, uh, didn't get into any traffic accidents, which is lovely, good news for me, uh, <laughs> but, 
Yeah, that's that was that was like the only occurrence though, because the next day we had some stuff to do, and my mom just came along and just like, okay. <laughs> well, what happened the next day? Did 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 she really just uh, come over the next day already, or did I have Tuesday by myself as well? I'm pretty sure like Tuesday there was just things to do, so she just came with me, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awful <laughs> to be honest. And on Wednesday, I also had to go to work on Wednesday because my dad came back and. He was telling, he was asking me to come over to do some, uh, do some stuff with him, even though there was literally nothing to do. We literally went to, uh, went to his client's house, which I guess his friends with, and, uh, did the measurements. After that, he just talked to them for an entire, God knows, like, half an hour or so, while I just, while I just stood there and looked. So, that was wonderful. I love that. Um... And, yeah, I, I don't think he realized it was Wednesday and I had my day off then, because afterwards he was like, oh, let's just go to the factory. I'm like, it's Wednesday. He's like, oh. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't know. I feel kind of bad for uh, for being a slack, slack off on Wednesday, for slacking off on Wednesday and such. But, come on, it's it's in the contract, all right? I'm contracted to work only on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, so that's really, uh, <laughs> that's just how my, that's just how it goes for me, um, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was my work, pretty much, Thursday, Friday, went with my mum, did some stuff, it's boring, honestly, <laughs> Well, well, I mean, no, not Friday, not yesterday, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Thursday I did all the stuff, and yeah, just r regular work stuff. Don't know why I keep on t bringing it up, like, talking about it, like, it's some, like something crazy is gonna happen, like, nothing's happening, it's just work. But, um, yeah, apart from that, oh. Um, Friday, yesterday, I went out with my co-worker, we went, like, ages away, we literally went, like, I don't know, to the next state or something to do, to do some installations, which was a bit insane, but, um, oh, wait, I, did, I was gonna make this floor a little bit lower, wasn't I, because I really like, you know, I really like the exposedness of this place, like, I, I know that, like, there's no ceiling or anything, but, like, this is a naturally generating cave, and, um, I just built everything in here, so I really like how every, all the space is used and such, and this gives, this gives off a really nice vibe, so I really want to keep everything the way it is, uh, but change just this little bit here, because I really want to connect the generator up, the top generator up with this row over here, so I think I'm just gonna, uh, break this down a little, uh, will I have space then, uh, because the, uh, the, the slabs, the little ceiling, it's gonna have to go, just like, if it's a block down, I think it's here, uh, is it, is it alright? Yeah, I think so, and, um, yeah, I don't think it's that big a problem, it would just make it, this place look a little weird, to be honest, uh, I could totally make it, uh, stay here, I think, and make this go up, but I don't want to make another, I don't want to put another row of, uh, uh, stuff around here, because it's gonna look weird, won't it? I don't know, I don't know if I'm just being really petty, but, uh, yeah, no, I think it actually would look kind of weird, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, a bit stupid, but I think I might, uh, um, I don't know, might just, uh, leave it, maybe, nah, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make the ceiling go down, all right, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, yesterday we went far, far away to to do installations, and it was good, it was good fun, because literally the entire time, everything went smoothly, because there wasn't really any special conditions for all the, uh, for all the blinds and stuff, and we installed them in, like, I don't know, just a, a bit, like, the largest thing that we did only took, um, well, I mean, this is gonna sound like we didn't do much work, but, like, there was a lot of things that would normally take, like, ages if there were special conditions, but because everything was pretty smooth, we, uh, ended up doing it in just about an hour and a half, and that was, uh, yeah, well, very welcome, because afterwards we just went off, and, uh, yeah, well, actually, hold on, um, well, first of all, what do we do in the morning? Oh, yeah, we went to fix some guys, uh, blinds, and that took pretty quick, because, well, it was quite a common problem, which <laughs> begs why it wasn't fixed, uh, yet, why it isn't, like, fixed, I guess, why isn't, uh, more, oh, no, what am I talking about, I'm just waffling, 
<laughs> there was just a problem that used that happened to old blinds and it's one of our old uh, customers actually but the the um the parts that the blind used i'm going into bl <laughs> i'm going to talk about blinds this is the talk about blinds talk what <laughs> no i'm just, I was just going to say the parts looked like it was new but this just started it just broke so i was kind of wondering if it if it <laughs> why why it broke so early i guess i don't know but i don't know why i'm talking about this stuff on here but yeah no um went to fix that stuff quick easy enough you know, quick and easy enough so it was good and then we went to go f uh, fix it. some other guy, some other guy's stuff, um, which like all these locations were like half an hour away from each other, which I mean, I would normally think was brilliant because I get some uh, world building time on the car in the car with my coworker because he's driving. But um, yeah, I'm just uh, <laughs> well, my world building game is a little off at the moment. So um, I just sat in the car and like, I don't know, played egg ink or something. <laughs> so that wasn't at all helpful to me but uh yeah what you gonna do what you gonna do when you're so bad um i'm bad but yeah uh we got to the other guy's house where we had to fix the stuff and um he wasn't there because we didn't actually uh do a uh, like for some reason they don't actually schedule their stuff they just show up um like the people the people uh that organize our jobs and stuff like, they just tell them, oh, we might be there around this time, and if we go there early, we have to wait for them and stuff, so we waited for them for half an hour whilst having lunch, had a good Macca's meal, um, and then, yeah, afterwards, we just went off and, uh, yeah, actually went to go fix the stuff, which was expected to be easy, because apparently <laughs> we were dealing with some uh, electrical motor blind stuff, and apparently it was just his remote was out of battery, which might have been, would have been uh, embarrassing, not really embarrassing, but a uh, sort of dumb thing we had to go all the way to fix. <laughs> but um, turned out that the motors and stuff were actually broken, and um, yeah, we had to go and actually do all of that, so... Yeah, uh, actually took quite a while instead of being quick like we would, like we hoped it would be. But yeah, whatever. Um, got that done, and then went to the next place where we installed all the blinds. Where we installed like thirty or so, thirty, thirty-six was it? No, thirty-three, thirty-three blinds. We put them all up, and it was all okay. It was okay, I guess. It was just a bit annoying because it was things that kept on going wrong, and I had to spend like ten minutes on a stupid thing that literally wouldn't have mattered. I mean, I could get into it, but it's boring. Who cares about blinds? <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, after that, we just went back to another place to, yeah, do another thing. <laughs> Did that, and it was good, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. Ama amazing work, talk. I love work. <laughs> what am I on about? Um, yeah, so, um, that was basically all of work. Um, hold on. If I if I just used uh, this stuff all the way through, would would that make more sense? Actually, nah. I think I might as well just. Uh, what if I? Ooh, no, no, because it's not in the center. It's so weird. What if I did this, would that work? Um, somewhat. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. This look. Oh, this looks actually quite nice. Though. I do. I do like this vibe. I don't know. It just reminds me of Flappy Golf. It reminds me of um fact the factory map from flappy golf gold i don't know dude i've been playing so much flappy golf recently what the leading first person shooter games what the leading actually fun games does to an mf i can't believe i'm playing flappy Golf. i mean i've always just like played it sort of uh sort of uh casually like sometimes when i'm like oh you know I'm, nothing's happening right now i'm sort of wanting to do a bit of strategy or something Wanted to play a bit of a puzzle. I go on Flappy Golf and complete a few levels, and it's fun. It's nice. I'm almost done, though. I'm almost finished with the game. I mean, if I played it, like, competitively, I don't know. If I played it seriously, I would have been done ages ago, but I'm not. It's just Flappy Golf. What am I going to do? And, yeah, I've been playing a bit, um, just going at it. <laughs> and, honestly, it's such a, it's such a, like, the aesthetic of the game is so cool. I love it. I love it so much. And, um... Yeah, I guess it sort of uh, inspires my inspires my uh, Minecraft building, uh, evident by me trying to replicate the factory map here. Uh, a bit stupid, but I don't know. It's cool. All right. Uh, don't judge. 
Um, but yeah, so, um, after work, came home at around 6, which was pretty good. Um, I got to play my, 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 uh, EDM in my, in my, uh, co-worker's car again. You know, I might just call him, I might as well just call him a friend, you know, he is a friend. But, um, yeah, uh, like I said last time, he's quite into EDM stuff, so played that stuff for him. And, yeah, it was a good trip back home. Um, it was a bit weird, though, because, well, I just kept on skipping through songs that I didn't think he would like, so. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's just me being sort of weird in my music selection, but, uh, yeah, um, after we got, um, I actually planned something with my, uh, with my friend, uh, this, well, uh, last night, which was Friday night, <laughs> and, um, it was a night ride, remember when I talked about them, um, and did them, yeah, so we had a huge break for whatever reason, uh, where we just didn't really get to go out at all, and, um, yeah, so, we finally, last night, was able to organise something, because my friend, he's in uni, he's in uni now, and also he's got, like, well, he's got a, a ton of free time now, which is a bit weird, but also sort of understandable, because if he has, if, like, a, a lot of planned free time now, he's probably going to plan a bunch of more, a bunch more things to do outside of school and stuff, but when he's got school, he, has, he hasn't really got much things to do other than at night, where he could come out and ride with me or something, but, um... Yeah, now he's, uh, got a busy social life, so he's not able to come play with me, uh, much more, <laughs> but, so, yeah, we finally found a time to come together and do another ride, and it was good, we, uh, went to our old faithful spot, uh, on the hill, not really, we didn't go to the hill this time, we just went to eat stuff, well, it was, yeah, on my, uh, at my, well, previous workplace, which, um, honestly, I do, I do very much miss, uh, working at KFC, I mean, not very much, I'm not gonna <laughs> go, go on about, oh, the good old days, it was cool, though, it was a cool experience that I, uh, sort of want to re-experience <laughs> again once or twice, but not really, but, um, yeah, we went there and basically just ate fast food. It's good, good time. <laughs> but um, yeah. So had some had some uh, soft serves and stuff at night, <laughs> like like negative five. Not really. Like five degrees at night. We're just in in the in the store eating soft serve and stuff. <laughs> so that was a uh, nice. And he had a great big fast food dinner as you do on a Friday night um, god, I love that place so much, like, it's actually, like, I understand why I wanted to work there, uh, well, and I still do want to work, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just saying that, like, yeah, it, I sort of take it for granted nowadays, but when I first found that place, it was actually just the, the coolest place, and it still is, like, it's such a backrooms-esque sort of, um, store, like, in the, it's in the middle of nowhere, and it has, it, like, inside it is, like, all sort of modern and stuff, and the, uh, seating and stuff is all, like, it's, like, all sort of repetitive, and you have these corners where it's so cozy, and it just, it just feels like such a vibe, man, I, honestly, I would, like, go there to just work as, like, as my office, well, <laughs> yeah, as my office, not at the fast food restaurant, I'd literally just go there, sit in the corner on my iPad and draw, because I, I literally, that place is so cool, um, but, yeah, went to eat there, and, uh, got all full and stuff, and <laughs> very insightful, but, um, yeah, so, that was really, that was really that, um, and we talked about some, some, uh, stuff that's happening, don't, don't the, um, don't, uh, generators have, like, heat sinks, I'm trying to replicate the heat sinks that the, the generators use on their things, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job of it, to be honest, but, uh, I might, I think it, adds a bit, I wanna, I don't, how am I supposed to, like, light this place up, so it's a bit, it's a bit dark, in it, um, I don't, I do love this, though, this is very nice, oh, look at this, I don't know, I've ruined its shape, it looks like cogs now, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> but, uh, no, heat sinks don't work here, um, but, yeah, so we finally got to catch up, um, I, I actually let him ride my, uh, electric bike last night, <laughs> oh, no, I'm full, for no good reason, don't know why this didn't happen before, but, you know, um, I, I knew he was out of shape, because, well, we, had, we just haven't done anything 
there for ages. And I was, like, out of shape because... Well, I mean, I was only a little not out of shape because of my huge ride last uh, last uh, Sunday. And, uh, yeah, so I gave him my uh, electric bike to ride around, even though I, <laughs> he's probably the last person I trust with it. <laughs> and uh, he did fall with it once, but it didn't really cause any damage. So I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> so he was riding my electric bike and I was riding my mountain bike because you know, my hardtail is just completely, like, I wasn't riding my hardtail, uh, my hardtail is just dead, like, I, I use it so little, if I kept it inside, I might use it a bit more, because it's, like, a sort of a worthless bike, I'm sorry, but, <laughs> but, like, it's just, like, uh, it's outside, and all the, the tires I have to inflate, literally every time, this is the, this is the cons consistency of me going out on, like, going out at all these days, like, every single time I have to go out, I would have to inflate the tires <laughs> for, like, 10 minutes before I go, because I don't have a, I don't have a floor pump, I don't know why, I call myself a mountain bike, and I don't even have a floor pump, but <laughs> I use my hand pump to just go at it for 10 minutes, and then I'm able to go, and that's just a pain, so so I just use my electric bike nowadays, um, and neglect that bike outside, it's sad, it's, uh, my first bike, I thought I was gonna actually take good care of it, but no, just, it is no more, um, but yeah, it's just, what can you do, what can you do, it's, uh, it is what it is, and, um, yeah, it's basically, we're, like, we were riding, like, the equivalent of, like, $6,000, just going to Macca's, <laughs> it's, just brilliant. Last night was just, uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful, uh, riding, uh, riding night. But yeah, um, that's really that. Um, it's cold as, not sure what else I could say about it. But yeah, um, look at this lovely, lovely little generator. I feel like, I, I feel like adding some, uh, some, oh yeah, buttons and stuff. I could totally do that to make it more detailed, can't I? Um, stone sure why not oh and these copper rods i feel like maybe do you reckon they could uh add some detail i don't really know what what they would, uh, what they would represent because i don't know what electric generators look like but um is that detail i don't, I don't know mate i'm just nah that doesn't fit anyway it looks way too like it looks like the only <laughs> maintained part of the machine which this place is supposed to be a bit abandoned because well the crane is in place no one's touching it so sort of like whatever right oh didn't i want to put like furnaces and stuff in and like incorporate it into the uh generator i don't know i don't know if i was gonna do that if i was i don't really know how to do that anymore what about oh rails i don't i can't even put them down anywhere <laughs> don't know what i'm supposed to do with that um what about what, what does what about this what's it even do Enough. Nothing. I don't care. All right. Whatever. Um, so uh, I guess I guess that's it. I guess that's how the generator be. This is this is cool as though. I really do like this. Uh, now I just need to light this place up somehow. Um, at maybe just some like I don't like hidden lighting for these places. I feel like the lighting needs to be exposed to uh, give it the vibe. You know what? Some lanterns. That's just how it goes throughout the entire place. Uh, no, we can't hang lanterns here, of course not, um, just chuck it here then, sure, <laughs> um, no, it doesn't look like it fits, uh, if it fits, it sits, I don't know why it's become like a catchphrase for me, <laughs> literally anywhere, anywhere that it's applicable, I use it for no good reason, alright, what if I literally just like, put a thing down here and used it, because like, no one cares, alright, cool, um, oh, I should probably fill in the back wall as well. I mean, a, a, a little exposed bit of it anyway, because it is, uh, it is probably nicer that way. There we go. Nice, nice little generator room. I do like that. Now, the only problem here is, uh, this is a bit strange. Unless I make the room a little wider, which I'm not going to do that, so. Um, okay, how can we, all oh, right, yeah, buttons, go on. <laughs> fill it up with, oh, wait, I can only put one down. Oh, that's that's just that's just no good. Can I put like a painting on there? Is it like a painting that emulates the stuff? What if I uh, put down the? What what else could I use? What else fits the palette? Um, oh, what if I just like put it down? Oh, are there even? Um, you know, sure. Why not? <laughs> Seems legit, right? Uh, this will do. This will do. Um, this is this is uh, the. Uh, 
Detailing 101. This is what ZHC does. Amazing stuff. All right. Uh, with that, is that how it goes? With that fit there, because I want to make it seem like these are a bit more than a bit more than what's just exposed here. But I don't really know how exactly it would work. Um, wouldn't it mean I have to like get rid of this as well if I put that there? Yeah, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? I feel like I should probably make an effort to actually hide this bit here, just so it doesn't look weird. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know what I could do, so I might just leave it, to be honest. This this looks dumb. Can I put something here? That will make it less dumb. Is that less dumb? Looks a bit stupid. What's wrong with it? Um, I think it's the fact that all this stuff is here. If I just uh, use the stone... It'll work better. Okay, cool. I think it's enough talking about Minecraft, is it? Um, yeah. I know last week I was going to talk about world... Oh, there was a lot of things to talk about for world building last week. But I was on a trail. I wasn't going to start talking about, like... Ooh. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the glacial element. The, uh... Well, I don't even call it that anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about all that stuff when people with people riding past. And also, I was, uh, probably not in a good state of thinking then. So... Yeah, uh, just uh, ended up not really uh, doing that much with that, but um, I can do it this week. I can uh, talk about stuff. Um, I can uh, actually get on with what I've been thinking about because there has been a lot of uh, developments for my world, and uh, yeah, I can actually talk about some things this <laughs> this episode. Um, but I don't know. Am I up to that yet? Have I spoken about um, driving and stuff and uh, any incidents or anything? Not really. Like I said, there's a lot of things to talk about this week. I, all I mean is world building. Oh my god, my throat hurts. Mm. Oh, yeah, rubbish thing that happened last night. <laughs> like, I don't know why I don't prepare for these rides anymore, but like... The light that I was using, well, for like weeks upon weeks, it finally ran out of battery on the ride. So I don't know why I just don't expect it to do that. And so for like three quarters of the ride, we're just riding without a light, and it's just super sussy because you know people people hate that when when uh when uh, cyclists ride without lights. But luckily we didn't meet anyone then, so it's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's honestly that. Um, just world building is a big thing. Okay, I don't want to get right into it. Oh no! Also, I forgot to say, um, on Wednesday, uh, I actually went like I actually went there. I actually went to the uh, place I went to last night on Wednesday. Just uh, at, for lunch, I just went there for lunch because uh, on Tuesday I was going to go and update my iPad because you know the state is in. I'm I, I was thinking that if I updated it. It could maybe work a little better, so I uh, tried to do it on Tuesday, but no one knows the password to at work anymore because uh, we're using basically our uh, our partner's Wi-Fi, and they probably change it or something. So <laughs> yeah, basically couldn't do that, and um, yeah, so uh, basically afterwards, uh, I just decided, you know, I might as well go out for uh for wi-fi and i was originally going to go to the library but i thought you know it's good it's lunchtime uh, nothing much to eat at home that i wanted to anyway and um so i just decided you know head over to that maccas for the maccas wi-fi and uh yeah whilst there had a had uh some stuff to eat and updated my ipad at last <laughs> and nothing really changed, to be honest. Uh, I also took the chance to reorganize my iPad because there was a bunch of weird, like, it was just super weird apps. Not <laughs> just, just uh, really, really uh, not safe for work apps. Not really, just apps that I don't use that, like, I sort of keep around not for any reason, like, on my iPad. And, like, also my folders were all sort of, like, jumbled up and not really uh, doing its best, so... I decided, you know, might as well uh, take the chance and, uh, yeah, fix it up. So, did that there uh, for no good reason. And, um, yeah, so, um, that was what happened on Wednesday. <laughs> it literally it. That's literally it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I finally updated my iPad after 
what's it, years upon years. Okay, uh, world building. <laughs> this is disjointed. Dude, well, I, was, I was commentating better when I was, like, completely out of breath last week. <laughs> but, um, I am, I am struggling to figure out what I'm supposed to do now, though. Uh, I've made the generators, uh, and, um... Now what? <laughs> this whole this whole mountain, this place was going to be uh, sort of like a commercial sort of place. It was going to be like a market, but like uh, an actual shopping center sort of thing. You see, this entire place. I mean, to be fair, like half of it is hollow. <laughs> like literally, this is this is the inside of of this huge mountain here. Like, what am I supposed to do? But um, yeah, I was gonna make like the outside or surrounding it, like around the place. It was gonna be a a nice sort of shopping center with like food courts and stuff, and maybe a theater. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing that, but um, it's gonna it's just gonna be a little extension to my little marketplace here. This is like the innocent marketplace, and uh, it's just uh, got the most basic stuff. And uh, over here across this bridge, we get to all this. We get to the serious marketplace, where I don't know. It's not really a market, is it? It's just like fashion stores. <laughs> you know, I had a really cool concept for a fashion store that, that has a very a very deep message about consumerism and such you know just somewhere really popular right buy out like a, a huge sort of a huge uh <laughs> this isn't minecraft by the way i'm just talking about stuff you do in real life <laughs> just like buy out an entire sort of space like where a store would be but like have all the walls white and lit up and stuff sort of like my museum back rooms and like just have like an like a uh, like a reception like a reception table and one uh clothing uh clothing uh shelf well i don't know what you call that what do you call, uh, a rack just one a, a table for the receptionist not a receptionist cashier damn it a <laughs> uh, cashier table and a single uh what do I call it? <laughs> a rack for clothes with just a single sort of design on, on the on the clothing rack. And then it, it could be like a designer brand or something that you can just like, that, that has only one product and you go there to buy it and it's just like a, a weird experience. <laughs> I think that would work very well in our current financial climate. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but honestly, I, I feel like that could be kind of a kind of cool place to shop. Just a single product you buy in the middle of the room and you just get it and get out. And like, I don't know, sounds like sounds like a kind of place where people would line up and stuff in the mornings and try to get in <laughs> because there's like five clothes on the on the uh, rack. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> why am I why am I talking about this stuff? <laughs> no, um, yeah, world building, cool, cool years, uh, yeah, I was talking about building stuff here, but I think I'm just gonna go on, go off to do the animal farm stuff, uh, now, and I don't think I'm gonna switch the furnaces out, even though it's, uh, I've got a generator now, I don't think, I think I might just keep it here, just for the looks, I just wanted something a bit more 3D here, because, you know, the generator, it's a nice sort of curve, it's a, it's a thing going into the wall, I do like that, but um, it's just a wall here. It's just a wall of furnaces and weird little things. I don't know. It just looks kind of weird. So uh, also, I should probably... Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter, but I should probably point the uh, comparators, the right, uh, comparators, the observers the right way because right now it's uh, going, uh, going a bit weird. <laughs> but it doesn't matter whatsoever. So it just doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, actually, I'll, yeah, replace this because it doesn't look too good. Um, whatever. All right, cool. Um, so, I'm gonna go work on the animal farm now, I think, because I want to get that done. Yeah, or maybe villager proof some stuff. Let's see. What can we even do, though? We're gonna, we can't use these trapdoors anymore, even though, look, I can't even, like... It, like, it doesn't do the normal thing it happen, that happens when you walk up against a... a a uh, uh, half slab where you just go up it like it stops you unless you jump and i said well, i don't know it's just a, a cool thing that sort of stops you from going over accidentally but um now i can't use it because villagers are stupid hmm. i kind of want to just make like a whole like sort of raggedy net around this but i don't know i feel like that would be a bit pirate like i don't know <laughs> don't know how uh, that would look um like having like a, a big just sagging net just 
around the edges here. It would look a bit like a suicide net or something. <laughs> it would just be a bit... I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't fit this place too well. Um, but I don't know what else to do. I could totally put fences up, but, like, would that do anything? Um, and also, it's a bit hard because, you know, these... They don't... It's not thick lines. It's a very thin line going across, and the fences won't link properly. And that would just look a bit stupid. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But, um... Oh, yeah. Also, I was going to... Speaking of links, change this stuff up because it just looks a bit dumb. If they if they don't consider this a block anymore, would they still go across it? Maybe they maybe they their their uh stuff their pathfinding actually works now and like they recognize a, a trapdoor as like it's the position it's placed in, so they don't try to get on top of it even though it's like placed at the bottom of a block or something. If that makes any sense. Um, but I'm trying to find a good way to sort of link these paths. Would this work, or is this a bit stupid? I don't know, it's not level, so I don't... So it's a bit... I don't know, it just looks a bit weird, but... I'm pretty sure this one is, actually. Um, yeah, here we go. If we just did that, would it be a cool link? I think, yeah, this double layer thing actually has something going for it, I feel like. Um, <laughs> uh, the double layered structure. Oh, well, let's see if I can uh, put something there that could make it work a bit better. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just designing stuff now. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, no, that's not how it goes at all, um, would that work, come on now, I'm in the way, am I, uh, is that how it goes, yeah, we can try it, we can, we can do that, why not, okay, cool, um, so we could do, yeah, double, a double layered thing, actually, this isn't gonna work too well, is it, because this is, why is it linked here? I don't get it. Wait, what's different with the other side? Oh, it's it's got a step up. Um, step up. Um, how are we gonna do that here? It doesn't quite work. <laughs> we can do a step down. Could we? Sounds stupid. Um, also, I do realize that this is kind of weird because this this path and this path is going like um, perfectly diagonally, which I don't really like. But what are you gonna do? You can't do much about that. Um, yeah, whatever, okay, cool, uh, this, this will just have the single layer, a bit, a bit sussy, a bit, uh, sussy, <laughs> I really just say that, a bit, uh, dangerous, uh, but it should be fine, um, yeah, so, <laughs> stop stalling, <laughs> we, quit. we can, we can get on with it now, can't we, yeah, um, so, Last week, the week before last week, well, uh, quite a while ago, I came up with the concept of only being able to use uh, a magical element when the element is in its element. You can see what I did there. Basically, if it's raining, uh, you can use water. If it's hot, you can use fire. If it's cold you can use ice you know you get the, you get the gist um and that all depends on weather so and uh sort of natural events and stuff um and yeah i've been trying to develop that for the past few weeks um and uh, i i haven't i have a very good idea for it but it undermines a lot of things that i've came up with that i want to have it uh that i want it to be that i want to be a part of the uh, world uh before <laughs> god my word my word smithing is just incredible but yeah um basically uh there's a bunch of things that i figured out that needs to needs to happen so basically um god my, my train of thought is in a mess i figured out that so the magic that's being used has to correspond with the sort of surroundings so like okay so this is basically the only sort of uh example i've got okay i need to, if i'm gonna do this i need to figure out the pattern for this because there is a pattern and it's a bit annoying because i don't know how to follow it properly so it goes uh one down from the which it does already okay so it starts from the dirt and it goes two down and another one and that goes two down and another one that goes four down and another one that goes something i don't really know i don't think there's much of a pattern here whatever all right um yeah, I figured out that, um, so, yeah, I was going on about the example. So if you're a Earth element and you want to bend Earth, like in Avatar, the last airbender, 
it has to be well you could do it normally because there's you know you're always on earth but like it has to work with um uh, the natural sort of occurrences so basically um n- stuff that happens in nature happens because of energy but that energy isn't like controlled by creatures anymore like that energy is like just natural energy that goes around and stuff and like uh, like you you can't just have that energy inside you now which you could before and you could just use it whenever but now it only happens it only works when uh when uh yeah there's stuff happening in nature god it's so hard to explain let me just tell you the scenario so you're an earth element you can you can uh use earth magic because of all the tecton the tectonic plates moving around and stuff under you that causes energy well no energy causes that but you can take the energy that causes that from that happening and use it for yourself so you use the earth energy at a cost of the tectonic plates not moving anymore which is a bit <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit no like you don't use it all right you can only ex- you can only take a bit of it and then use it you know? but if you're like i mean if you're powerful if you know what you're doing i guess you could do better which i don't really know how uh, how i'm gonna calculate that stuff but uh it's just how it goes um so that works like that but if it's if there's like an earthquake, if there's an earthquake where there's a ton of energy happening to create the earth moving and stuff, you can take that. You can take even more to. Uh, but that doesn't make any sense because it only what well, you can only take a bit of. If you can only take a bit of the tectonic plates moving, why would you be able to take more when there's an earthquake? Like that, that's the that's what I'm sort of struggling on. Like what's the cap, what's the cap? stop capping why is it wh- like what's causing the uh the escalation to stop like why why does it why does it do why does it do that <laughs> why must it uh, subject me to this like i'm thinking that maybe it's it's like personal sort of power like if you're really powerful you could like take more and if you're if you're just like sort of starting out you can't really do that but like it doesn't make any sense oh this stuff that's why i'm saying it's so weird how to world build now do i want people to like do i want anyone to be able to be powerful or do i want to do i want it to be like more uh do i want it to be more why is there just a, a random oh no it's not poking out do i want it to be more like equal like every everyone has uh the same ability like they they can they have the same potential but some just like i don't know but like some sort of uh abuse some like cheat or something that allows them to have more potential i don't know um that's really the uh struggle here oh right i see why this is uh one down because it's uh, actually the dirt's actually moved one down here okay cool i'll just keep on following that in um so what i'm saying now makes no sense and this is what i'm dreading from future me listening to this stuff i don't know a way to explain it that would make it make sense because well i i haven't made much sense of it to be honest but um i just i i I want a way to be able to control like to be able to have the environment control the use of energy the like the ex the creature's use of energy but i don't want it to be that powerful i don't want it to be like oh so every sing- everything in the uh everything happening in the environment can be taken in and used for your own uh for your own purpose because that's just like that that's just way too much you know you can't just take everything happening and use it as your own use it to your own advantage you can that's just how that's just a bit op but i also want to ca- like having that cap on it means there's some that's some reason that you can't do it you can't take everything in and uh use it as your own and that's just that just throws a spanner in the works because what is that cap why can't you just why can't you take everything in and if there's a cap at all times how come like how, how how does the environment affect 
you when the environment grows stronger, right? Like, it shouldn't matter whether there's an earthquake or not. Like, if you have a, if you already have a capacity that you're that you're reaching, that's like stopping you from, like, using it normally. It's just I'm hoping that makes sense, but like it does, but I can't like make it like like it makes sense that it doesn't make sense. Is what I'm trying to say, and I don't know. It's just so difficult to get the right sort of a uh, get the right uh, balance of things going on to be able to figure out how this stuff works. It's like a mathematical equation, but some things that I've sort of a uh, I've sort of thought is because before a soul every creature still has a soul uh, except gingers and the soul used to be able to produce energy by itself so you get you get a soul you get uh energy well only if you have like a a soul stone isn't it i don't know if that's still yeah obviously that's a thing but i don't know what it does anymore it's so uh, this whole weather thing's thrown such a big spanner into the works it's so difficult to just think of how to like how to incorporate it without it like like screwing with everything but also like having it in enough so that it it's an actual sort of thing right because i don't want a weather-based sort of magic system it sounds so i don't know i'm not a meteorologist all right (laughs) it's just geeky and like really oddly specific i feel like i mean i know there's oddly like what swallowing metals is that like uh, how is that supposed to be like a like a sort of general magic system? Like, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty unique and interesting one, but it's like very specific. But like, just because my it's not about like the weather. <laughs> my stories aren't about the weather, so it's just it's just it feels a bit I don't know. I, it's really uh, limiting the stuff that I'm able to do now, and it's annoying, it's annoying me, but, um, yeah, so now, I come up with some ideas that, like, the magic system could be cold-blooded, like, like, the creatures aren't cold-blooded, but the magic system, it's like, it is like you're taking in the magic to, like, you're, t- you're using the environment to use magic, like, like, as a cold-blooded animal, you would, use the environment to keep yourself living to be able to you know use that use the temperature outside to uh uh, make yourself that temperature (laughs) oh why is this so difficult why can't i make this stupid this is no this is not a good uh, activity to be doing whilst uh, commentating well okay i actually just need to like come up with a formula for this so it's three three is that five five and four Three three five four. Is that what I did here? That goes three three ooh, five four. Oh wow, that's actually how it goes. And then it goes six. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um. Right then. So we're we're on the f- we're on the five now. So we go we're going like that. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh yeah. No. Actually, make it go in that way. I think. Uh, actually, yeah. Oh, it'll, it'll work. So, yeah, uh, like, every single, every single element is a different type of cold-bloodedness, and you have to be in that environment to be able to use that element, um, because you take it in, like, uh, the concept was basically that the soul takes the energy from the, uh, environment, rather than making it itself, um, but that still, that still allows it to be stored, which is annoying, because, then you'd just be able to use it anyway. Like it, it could be like a giant rainstorm, and after it ends, you have this all this uh, water energy stored up, and you just use it even though it's sunny. And that's not how the magic system. That's not how the restriction is supposed to work. I mean, could it though? If you just made it so that it's just like okay, cool, it's uh, it's rainy, and then now it's sunny, and then you, like it, you can only use it after it's raining. I don't know. It's t- a bit uh, no it's not like specific enough i don't think it's not limiting enough um i want it to just be able to be like okay it's raining right now you must use it right now otherwise when the rain ends you're not gonna be able to use it anymore um which storing it doesn't work so okay so we've worked out we can't store this energy at all it, it must just be channeled through you rather than stored mm-hmm.
hand. So, so what's the soul stone actually do then? So the soul stone just stores souls. <laughs> Fair enough. And so once the souls are stored, I, like I also come up with the idea that maybe just maybe uh the only way you'd be able to escalate your power is to collect souls and so it's like uh like a surefire way to convey that power equals corruption because it's literally spelling it out it's like you want power you're gonna have to kill someone and take their soul and put it inside you so <laughs> it's a bit on the nose it's literally too too uh just out there too too uh easy to grasp that it's just not even interesting but that's just that's just what i'm thinking about um but like uh that that make that means that the the uh limit the limit of the environment won't be shown as much like it'll it only it'll only work as much as uh like you can use this energy you can only use this energy uh in this environment but it won't it won't be able to showcase that well, when the environment is uh, expelling more energy, you'll be able to use more energy because that that can only happen when you're when you've taken souls and uh, become powerful and stuff. And it's just uh, not very not very easy to show uh, without that. And I I don't like it's not going to be a big thing in my world anymore. So like, it's just a bit like like no one's going to know that that's a thing. <laughs> And so why why world build it? It's just a bit uh, of a waste of a of a concept, you know. So I don't know. I'm just I'm just thinking that uh, it's uh, annoying. Oh, so we could actually put it on these slabs as well. That's just that was would have been helpful to know that ages ago. But uh, I might have to redo some of these uh, supports because they look kind of stupid. But whatever. All right. Um. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it is a good a good way to limit the, uh, limit, uh, the power of everyone is to just give them a natural cap, make it, make them all equal in their power, um, as long as their knowledge of it, well, as much as their knowledge of it can get, um, because, well, if they know everything, if they know how to do it, then they can just do it to the, like, would they be, would there be any, like, would there even be a small unequalness, like, if they were born different, if they were born, like, that just sounds super lame, that sounds like such a, la that sounds like a lazy world building, but, like, it's just, it's true, like, if, like, how are we gonna tell, maybe souls are, like, just a super, a super set thing, like, if you have a, like, well, if you, if you, if you have a soul, like, when you get a soul, it is like just that like it won't be anything more or or less it's just like a soul like that's the same as everybody else and uh yeah that's that but uh, that calls into question the uh how like when creatures are birthed because it used to be um when they're born they get their element from their mother which uh is like which is because the mother stores the energy right and she creates uh something living with the energy and so that creature that creature's soul is the element of that energy but now they can't store it they can't store it at all so how like would would the with the uh with the creature being born only have the have a would have a soul of the environment they're being born in because that that's sort of the uh that's sort of what the uh what the current limitations of the magic system infer that if they're born when it's hot then they will be a fire element you know at some point i i even just i just considered getting rid of the fire element because like what what constitutes as hot you know how how doth one feel it is hot like, it just doesn't, because, like, everything else is sort of, like, a clear, clear, uh, boundary, like, okay, so, when it's, uh, when, when you've, uh, when, when it's, when it's day, it's, uh, oh, hold on, actually, you know, now that I think about it, day is a bit of a crappy, uh, crappy boundary, like, 
how would you, how would you, uh, when is it night? When, the, what's the, what's the line between day and night? That's, a, yeah, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a, a question, uh, that I don't really know how to answer, but, um, I guess just whenever the sun is visible, like, theoretically, like, even if there's clouds or anything, um, that would be, count, that would count as day, but as soon as, like, the sun sets over the horizon, like, even if you go to a place afterwards where you're able to see the sun over the horizon, that's day, but as soon as it's gone out of sight, it's night for you, so I guess I'm, I guess that's the uh, <laughs> hard set rule of time being day, but yeah, that day, when it's day, you can use the light element, when it's, when it's a uh, cold, when it's below zero degrees anywhere, you can use the ice element, easy enough, and when it's, uh, well, I mean, things, things do have different, like, freezing points, don't they, so, <laughs> that's debatable, but it's still just better than it's cold, so you can use it, um, when it's, uh, when it's, uh, well, you can use earth and wind and, uh, something else anywhere, <laughs> and, um, why am I, there's literally, I can count all the elements, why can't I, why, why am I, uh, thinking, oh, I think it was fire, but it can, yeah, fire can only be used when it's hot, I think, but, like, still, what constitutes as hot, <laughs> um, when it's, uh, stormy, you can use electricity, when it's, uh, when it's, what else is there, <laughs> around water, oh, yeah, you can use water anywhere, as long as there's water around you, so, yeah, um, that's how it's meant to work, but, like, once again, when can you use fire? It doesn't make sense, it doesn't, <laughs> why, when it's hot, you can breathe fire, and I, I also came up with this, well, I didn't come up with it, it was always sort of in the background, like, subconsciously, but, like, um, anatomic features dependent on your, uh, element, uh, that doesn't require magic, uh, so that can, like, just function anywhere, like, if you're, I mean, (laughs) bad example, but if you're a water element, and you have gills, then that doesn't need magic to function, because, you know, when you're, when you're in water, it just automatically works, that nothing, nothing else would have gills, but I mean, would fish, would all the fish be water elements, I think, I don't know, I think that's how it would go, but, like, I guess, like, anatomic, anatomic stuff that isn't, like, normal, I suppose, um, would, could, could be caused by magic, but if you're a fish, that's a fire element, like, you'd still have gills, I guess, <laughs> but, no, if you, if you're a, yeah, if you're a water element, you can just have gills, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter, because if you're breathing in water, you can use magic anyway, but, no, um, and if you're, if you're an ice element, you're naturally immune to the, immune to the cold, which I did some, uh, which I tried to do some sort of, uh, anatomic stuff with, like, that stuff doesn't require magic, I don't think, but for whatever reason, I, always, I also thought that it would, if you, oh, I guess it would work, as like, when you're sick, you sort of lose body functions as well. So when you're sick, that might, like, go offline or something. That might stop working. So you would actually feel cold when you're, when you're uh, immune-compromised. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, that stuff wouldn't normally cause... Uh, well, uh, that stuff wouldn't um, require magic to work because it'd just be like, oh, I mean... But I guess if you're... If it's cold it wouldn't, you'd, like, have your magic anyway, <laughs> all this stuff is just proving to be really unnecessary, but, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work, all right, so, that, um, yeah, that stuff would just be on your body without, like, even if you don't, like, end up, for whatever reason, not having an element, it would still just, you would still, like, work like that, so, yeah, um, that stuff could, I thought, be applied to fire elements, like, they just breathe fire, but that's also something I thought about, what if everything was just a fire, had, like, fire abilities, because if fire was, uh, an anatomic feature, then every dragon, no matter the element, would just have fire breathing capabilities, it's just, and also fire would only, it, well, if, if fire was an anatomic thing, then dragons would be the only creature to be able to breathe fire, 
Um, so, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't want to exclude the fire dragons because that is a very, very big... Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what's it? Population of dragons just um, naturally. Not naturally, but in just... Uh, yeah in the in the community i guess um but also i just don't really know i, I don't really know how to yeah uh, incorporate them in this weather system and also like I, I sort of do want them to not like be be a part of it just to sort of signify the uh like just how sort of next gen my uh my dra my dragons are it's just like you know, um, like, uh, hold on, why is this, oh no, oh, that makes sense, okay, <laughs> like, if I get rid of the fire element and have all these other elements, it would be a clear message that, yeah, okay, so these, this isn't, like, this isn't, uh, sort of trying to be traditional, this is absolutely just something, uh, detached from traditional dragons and that because it is it's not i'm not gonna pretend that oh this i'm just i'm just i'm just a guy who's interested in dragons no i'm a furry okay i i'm not interested in your regular dragon spaces so it's just like i might as well just completely cut ties and get rid of the fire element but i don't I don't feel it's right i just don't feel it's right fire is just a uh absolutely like, but the thing is fire is like a weird sort of element i guess because i thought about it right when i was thinking about getting rid of it i thought about it and it's like fires like you know it's not even natural there's like no fires anywhere like plasma yeah but that's just light like plasma is just whatever right it's just uh you have that in light um, but fires, they don't ever happen, like, light, you have, you know, daytime, that's light, uh, electricity, you have lightning strikes, that's pretty, uh, common, um, ice, you just have cold places with water, that's ice, fire, right, only occurs naturally, I found, when lightning happens to strike, <laughs> like, a plant or something, and, like, how, what are the chances of that actually happening that would cause fire? Like, it's just such a, it's such an unnatural thing when that, when I come to think about it. Like, when does fire, when do natural fires ever happen? Like, apart from the, the odd occurrence of lightning striking a tree or something. And that's, that's like, you know, that's electricity. That's not even, that's not even a, a showcase of fire. So it's just, I don't know, it's super, super strange to me why that became a, I mean, I get it's gas, and it's like, uh, uh, but to be fair, I think all these elements are like sort of, well, from human culture, I think, yeah, so, because humans, you know, they created fire, so they just thought, you know, might as well, <laughs> might as well include fire in, in the uh, natural elements, because we, we sort of were able to make fire naturally, uh, not naturally, but just uh, we we're able to do it, and so I guess it was just a thing that became once we said it would, so, who knows, maybe I might actually just get rid of it, because, you know, nothing else really makes fire, uh, naturally, um, so, yeah, um, don't really know what I'm on about now, because that's, that point probably shouldn't have taken me, uh, 10 minutes, but, yeah, uh, who knows, I might, I might do, I might just get rid of it, because it's just super, uh, weird just doesn't fit in so yeah um but yeah other than that i'm still going on about the weather stuff i also had an idea that um because i have a one of the things i really want to keep in was being able to borrow elements like being able to borrow someone's energy that's like of a different element and you're able to use it as your own, and you can just, like, yeah, uh, use an element that isn't yours, because that unlocks a lot of stuff, that, that unlocks, like, a lot of, uh, sort of motivations and stuff that people could have, um, I just don't, I can't incorporate it into here, because you don't steal other people's energies anymore, or borrow, <laughs> if you must, um, it's just channeling it, and channeling it requires you to have the soul, 
the soul of the element and it's just a, a bit difficult to do that now because um like there's no there was such a natural progression um back when i didn't include this weather thing like okay um you first you just have your own element and next uh the next step would be taking someone else's element which you can do by just sucking their blood or something and and that's 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 pretty like that's pretty tame you know but the the step after that is killing them entirely stealing their soul and um taking it as your own and it's a natural progression because it just gets like it gets more and more violent here it's just okay you have your own element um you can use it and stuff and then the next step is just kill someone and take their soul it just doesn't it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel <laughs> doesn't feel right it, yeah it's just not very not very uh i guess subtle <laughs> it, it's not a very good like um from here it's not a good point to a to point b you know and i don't know how i'm supposed to fix that now because i've gone pretty deep into it and uh <laughs> maybe i just maybe i should just revert revert this choice it's just a bad idea overall but um god knows <laughs> don't know what i'm supposed to do now but uh yeah um so annoying so annoying that this thing is just it's such a good idea but i can't at all utilize it because it's being annoying okay but look at this yeah this is also, this is um, what i always wanted to do with the uh with the uh animal farm is to have a whole layer underneath it for like operations like maybe like a sheep shearing place and uh, a little uh, storage place for i don't know animal parts <laughs> <laughs> animal parts. and just like yeah this is this is nice this is how i imagined it but i need to add in a bit more uh a bit more um just a bit more details than this because right now it looks a bit sad so yeah i also just make it a bit more well-rounded and not really a weird shape because that would make this not look too good so um yeah uh now what else is there what else have i been world building on um that's all right that's really all i wanted to rant on about the stupid weather stuff because it's completely ruined my whole the whole vibe of the world and uh made it incredibly difficult but i mean if i do manage to get this uh fixed if i get to if i make this uh magic system real would be a fantastic payoff because i don't know i don't think any uh real media has utilized like the randomness of weather yet or weather patterns or like sort of uh weather symbolism i don't, I don't know <laughs> i feel like i could really uh, that's that's really a, a a good market that i could tap into the weather market but it's just yeah um too difficult at the moment really hard for me to get anything right with that um so gosh i just i can't i can't can't wrap my head around it is the big problem problem it's just ugh, can't make sense of why weathers doesn't work weathers multiple weathers um so yeah right now right now what's what's our problem what are we trying to world build we're trying to make it so that uh okay so uh, everyone has is equal in their magic everyone is able to do the same stuff until someone uh until someone takes the soul of another to become more powerful which is a good uh a good uh indicator of their moral compass um and they don't store the energy at all they channel it uh, just through natural occurrences um through their environment into what they want to channel it to um and then uh okay so i think the only the only thing that i want to add into this magic system is the ability to borrow elements that is the only thing that i sort of need what else is there i need i think i, I should go, go check my uh my my spreadsheet my world building uh spreadsheet to see what on earth is going on but um yeah i need to revise myself on that to be honest am i recording still 
<laughs> I am wonderful. Okay, but um, yeah. Let's just go see. Um, what I'm world building? There's some. I mean, there's some uh, like temporary stuff on here. So don't take everything on here as a. <laughs> here's my here's my revelation. They are cold blooded. It's not really that. <laughs> it's not really uh that important now. But um, yeah. So um. Was I working on what else? What, like what else is a is a thing that I needed to I need to get uh get done? Let's see. So collect energy stuff like that. No, no, it doesn't collect any energy. Like there's no, there's no more storage for the uh for energy. So breathtaking is the only thing that I can uh, that I want to add in now. Breathtaking is a uh, a thing that it was just so so like so uh detrimental to lose and i really want it back and um it's just it's so hard without the storage of energy though because how are you supposed to channel energy whilst having the potential of getting that energy taken by another a soul of another element and used as its own it doesn't it just doesn't make sense man um and also yeah how to how like when you're giving birth is it channeling energy because like it, I, don't, I don't know if you're what if what if what if what if your new your your baby will only get an element if the if uh the environment is the same one corresponding to uh this the element of the mother's soul like if you give birth to a ice well if if you're an ice element trying to give birth but there's no ice conditions um the newborn will just not have an element that doesn't make any sense it, every soul has an element that's just how the world works now so i just uh, i feel like uh, uh like cuz the mother makes the soul that was the perfect perfect what if we just store the energy again we need to store the energy to make all of this work all right storing the energy would fix both of these problems problems again <laughs> instantaneously just the ability to store it somewhere somehow but without being able to use it in the environment um without being able to use it outside of the environment i mean just how how can that work god uh, well we've uh, figured out uh the uh answer to fixing this but we can't implement it without like ruining other stuff so maybe we could just spend our time uh getting some getting a getting a getting an idea of just how this stuff oh, like uh when it, whenever I, when i when i started thinking about the weather concept it was still just like so everyone still had their energy inside them but when they used it outside of the outside of its environment it's just a waste of energy it's just like energy just comes out as nothing and it just goes into the air and evaporates into into the thin air and just goes fine somewhere or something i don't know but eventually now it's turned into they don't actually have any energy they just take energy and redirect it which is such a cool idea but i can't accomplish these simple tasks without it oh my god um i mean with it <laughs> my my speeches are getting more and more incoherent but uh, <laughs> yeah um that's just that's just how things are man i can't i can't i can't okay so uh, so these two are the only thing uh element assignment and breathtaking soul taking still works special dragons origin not really we're not looking at that limitations oh god the the, the uh the box that started it all <laughs> i wish i never started i wish i never came up with this stuff i'd be happy away doing my little magic stuff who cares but i mean come on the payoff the payoff we need to think about the payoff um yeah that's really that um just yeah these two little ideas i must implement i must keep that just doesn't come together when i'm talking about all this other stuff like okay but what's the what's the uh what's the what's the uh 
what's it what's it called in economics i completely forgot um what's the off take the uh the takeoff the um What's the uh, trade off? What's the trade off, right? So we're getting a, a really nice and limited, nice and uh, sensical, uh, tentacle, sensical um, idea of magic, but we're losing, uh, we're not making sense in the way of how does a creature get its element and that the idea that a creature can borrow another creature's element uh, and use it for themselves. So we're, lo- we're we're getting a very nice magic system, but losing some, uh, uh, a, uh, a sort of thing of, of, uh, a thing of sort of, uh, logic and a thing of something cool that should be able to happen, but I can't do it. I can't do in this, in this condition. So that's, I mean, I'm not happy with it. I'm not. I'm not gonna just sit here and accept it. But it's a good trade off. It's fine. It's uh. It'll just be a lot better if I can figure out the uh this stuff afterwards. And also, I'm not gonna stray too far from the uh from uh the mother assigning the elements to their children because of course Amp and Chili needs their elements to stay. This is all revolving around them. It's just this entire world has not got any other uh, purpose than to serve them and also crow crow needs to be a a god in this world <laughs> so <laughs> them three are basically what's dictating this entire world right now and uh is that good absolutely not but um you know it's given us limitations it's given us a, a nice creative uh sort of wall a wall a nice creative wall and uh yeah i'm just i'm excited to see it go through excited to see the uh, end product i guess that's all i can say right now not excited to come up with the stuff that uh, <laughs> proceeds us towards the end product though yeah my mind is dead my words are gone i can't come and take much longer and uh to be honest, let's just check how long how long we've actually been uh recording because oh my god that's quite a lot longer than i expected but um yeah <laughs> oh no there's some other stuff but i'll talk about it next time i guess i'll talk about it when i finish it maybe because it's uh probably a, a better idea than talking about it now with nothing much to say um yeah that's really that oh yeah no i forgot to complain yeah i did nothing on the animation um i'll do more next week 